As singing and drums were echoing throughout the streets of Allentown, Juneteenth was celebrated in a different way. J. Bernie Crum through teamwork, support and accessibility at the second annual football camp. It's part of our history and I think that anything that does with history, especially in our country, that we must be aware of so that we can understand and create that unity. You only have unity when you understand each other. So it's a great way to understand each other, you know, to support each other in events, uh, to have Juneteenth fall on Father's Day. So it's a great way for us men to be mentors to the young children. Um, also, it was free, you know, thanks to St. Luke's. Um, the kids didn't have to worry about nothing. They could ride their bikes here. So it was very accessible to everybody. And then, like, again, we did it last year. It was very successful. This year is very successful. And I'm just glad to be asked to do this event and I'm asked and I'm glad to be a part of it. The afternoon was highlighted by a football combine in conjunction with St. Luke's where young athletes had a chance to put their skills to the test. It's an opportunity for us as coaches to, as part of the St. Luke's family to give back to the local communities. It's an opportunity for kids to come out here and experience different types of training that will benefit them for overall athleticism including football and what we have coming up here in the near future of the next couple minutes I should say is us going through some basic NFL type combine drills for some of our older athletes to give them the experience of what it's like at the highest levels to be tested and evaluated uh, to potentially be drafted moving forward. But also some of the testing that we do here for uh, the combine purposes today is something that we use the high school level and even the college level for recruiting purposes. We were doing agility drills today and then um, like like the ladders and then we got to do the cones, backpedaling, sprint and then we were doing body strength. So like we were doing supermans, lunges, push-ups and then we were focusing that one drill we were focusing on speed so like we were marching getting into like the steps and then when we finished our steps we got into a full sprint all right so this is called the vertical jump it's something that the kids can do during the juneteenth combine here at j bernie crumb stadium chad show me how this is done because i've seen the kids do it a couple times i'm wondering if i can do it myself i'm sure you can so first of all we have to do to be able to measure a vertical jump we have to get the athlete standing reach so what we'll, i'm gonna ask gwen to do here is i uh, have a step on this side Oh, this side. Yeah, we're gonna go on that side. Yeah, your toes are gonna be in line with the the front of the vertex. That's okay. what that's what this is called. Yep. So I'm asking you to take a half a step forward, please, and just a little bit to the left. That way, your arm is not gonna be touching here. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her now to cross her hands together, put your hands straight up to the side, sky. Take a little another half step to the right, and I'm just gonna push up here. I'm gonna have you step through. Okay. So now, based on where she stepped through and based on the number that's on here. Um, that's her standing reach. So what we do now is once I see that her standing reach is one, two, three and a half plus is 81 and a half, I know she can jump a little bit higher than this. So, so then you're going to go arms up, you're going to counter movement down, right arms going to hit the top as far up as you can. Yes. This is the first time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm testing somebody with jeans too. <laughs> yeah. And of course, the most important part of the camp is that the kids have fun and perhaps learn a thing or two about what it takes to be a pro. We were, we were doing out there getting agility on a Sunday. A lot of kids are just sitting at home playing video games, but we're out here getting the work, trying to get better each and every day. I learned things that I never knew before. Like it, it was always time for work, always room for improvement, my mom always says. At J. Bernie Crumb Stadium in Allentown, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.